When I uh, graduated from university, uh, the first pro research project I did for my honours degree was working on corals, and I just got hooked on corals. They're so fascinating, they're so beautiful. They're important because they build the reef. Difficult to sequence, they're just full of challenges, and I guess I must just love a challenge because I keep going back for more. <laughs> So each morning, the first task when I get out of bed at 5.30 is to sit down with Dr Ian Parnham from Curtin University who has been processing the multi-beam data. And we look at the data and we look at the features on the seafloor and decide where would be a really good site to put the ROV in. So Ian's integral in that role, it's great to have him on board. The coral that we have seen down at 72 metres is from the genus Leptoceros and that is one of the genera that is really common in those mesophotic zones. So it's one of the ones we expected to see, so that's really exciting and we've seen a few of them now. We start to see from that sort of depth down, we start to see an abundance of the little cup corals. I love nudibranchs because they just represent incredible diversity and of course that's what kind of biodiversity scientists just love and so they come in all kinds of shapes and sizes and they give us enough kind of difficult questions where they look similar but a little bit different and so they're quite challenging too uh, and I really enjoy that. So one of the emerging case studies that we're finding on this cruise so far are phyllidid nudibranchs and we're lucky enough to have recent survey work at Ashmore Reef documenting that shallow water fauna and also historical records from the place as well. Yesterday we found uh, a specimen of what we think is Phyllidia varicosa. So morphologically it looks really similar to the species we'd see in the shallow waters and one of the really distinctive features of this animal is that it has a little black line running along the underneath of its foot. So really a great indicator to say, yep, that's what this species is. But of course, it could be that trap where they just look the same and they're not really the same at all. So we always have to be careful about defining uh, our species concepts. So the baseline data that we're collecting here at Ashmore is going to be really important more broadly for understanding mesophotic reefs. We're really keen to understand how they're going to be affected from climate change and environmental change. And so this is a really good opportunity to collect the baseline data to start to understand those systems. It's been such a fantastic opportunity to be here on the Falcor doing this research. We've had a great crew of scientists and the crew on board are just fantastic. The ROV pilots have been amazing at how well they can control the, the, the delicate manipulation of the samples. They are just amazing. Also, it's been such an honour to be working on board.